got a sec? I'll set out the right tool. Yeah. <laughs> Can we talk? What is going on, Phantom Army? Is your boy Phantom Stilts, and welcome back once again to Far Cry 5. As you guys just saw, we have pissed Jacob Seed off enough to we're being hunted again. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the series up to this point. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel. That way, you guys don't miss any new content of Far Cry 5 or any other gameplay series or gameplay videos that I put up on the channel. But without any further ado, we are going to actually probably go outside and get this uh get this hunted business uh figured out so let's see if we can find our way out of here i kind of forget where we're supposed to go i think we're supposed to go this way where's the ladder at there we go i could try hunt some deer tomorrow Yeah, so these are the guys after us, I believe, right here. Well, what do we have here? Piss them off real quick, that'll trigger the cutscene. <laughs> and they're obviously going to come after us. We can fight them off here. They're like, Peggy's gonna be coming out of the bushwhack and all that stuff. Oh, looks like they're going away. That was kind of interesting. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and go back and do a mission for Weedy. We can find the entrance to the, uh... Find the entrance to the bunker again. I believe it's up here to our left. But at some point, we're going to get hunted and uh, found by Jacob, so... Let's see here. Let's go over to Weedy. Hey, need a word. So, here's the deal. I'm trying to get this pirate radio running. Some, okay, just come across That's actually a side mission, so we actually want to do a real mission, so we'll go to Eli. Got a job for you. You remember the Grandview Hotel? That shithole we pulled you out of? Need you to head back there. Jacob nabbed a whitetail by the name of Briggs, and he's using the same brain melting nonsense he tried on you. All in the hopes that Briggs will give up the wolf stand. I don't think our boy can hold out as long as you did. And if he gives up our location, we're done. So we gotta move on this quick. Some folks here think the smart move would be just to off him. But if we start killing our own to save our asses, how's that make us any better than Jacob? Nah, I ain't going down that road. Here's what we're gonna do instead. Weedy's cooked up a little deprogramming package. Same thing we used on you. Need you to swap out the tape they got running in Briggs' room with the one I'm going to give you. And then, well, then we'll see what happens. If everything goes smooth, our guy comes back to Earth. If it doesn't, well, we'll deal with that when the time comes. All right, so Get Free is our story mission. So we got to reach the Grandview Hotel. Let's see. And our exit is this way, which we just found out. Okay. We've got about a thousand meters till we get to where we need to go. See if we can get back to the road, that's going to be probably the easiest way to get to where we need to go. Died. 
dumbasses. <laughs> that was actually Peggy's right there. Those were those were two Peggy's right there that crashed into something because they were looking back at me. <laughs> Oh, here we go. I was going to say, I knew they were going to come after me. first child and we were just babies ourselves really. and I was terrified of becoming a father mostly about money she wasn't worried she had faith that things were going to work out she always had faith and one day she was going to go visit a friend and it was an accident Lord, take it. They rushed me to a hospital and put me in a room with this little pink bundle stuffed with tubes. And they said that I had to be strong because my little girl was going to live. God was looking out for our daughter. And they left me alone in the room with her. I just stared. my daughter so helpless so innocent when all she had in the world was me when nobody from nowhere with thought me and in that moment I knew that God was testing me he was laying out a path before me and all I had to do was choose so I put my hand on my little girl's head. And I leaned in and I could smell her. And we prayed together. Prayed for wisdom. Prayed for strength. And I knew. I heard God's plan for me. I took my fingers and I put them on that little plastic tube that was taped to her angelic face and I pinched it shut. After a little while, her legs began to kick in and kick in. And then nothing. Stillness. Release. The Lord giveth and the Lord. Sacrifice. These are all part of his test. And we have to prove that we can serve God, no matter what he asks. You've done well. Alright guys, so apparently Joseph is a complete nutcase, and uh, killed his child, which is a little weird, and a little messed up, so now he's just giving us more incentive to uh, 
destroy him. <laughs> Honestly, I have a really big problem with what he did. I mean, he harmed a defenseless child. <laughs> and that's not okay at all, by any means. Keep moving. down the rabbit hole again. Gotta be tripping our balls off right now. That's exactly what's happening. Perfect. guys well that is the end of the episode um very very weird episode and very trying episode uh i'm definitely not okay with the fact that joseph decided to kill his only born daughter um that was kind of a uh, kind of a uh, sore spot for me so he's going down without <laughs> we're putting it lightly and putting it kind of uh, pg-13 rated he's going to get his ass kicked so without any further ado this is your boy phantom still so i hope you guys enjoyed the episode um like i said very weird episode very tipping point episode um don't really know what to say i didn't realize that they were going to go there and uh anyways without any further ado this is your boy phantom stilts i will see you guys on the next far cry 5 gameplay video take care guys